Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to create this makeup look for you today. I am doing a black owned product combined with Indian glam. I basically didn't just wanna go ahead and just buy products to support the Black Lives Matter movement without putting kind of any thought behind it. I know that I'm buying the products because I know I want to support black owned brands, but at the same time, I thought, how can I add this into kind of my culture? and what I already know and kind of just combine cultures in a way of me showing support. And I just thought, I love creating Indian glam makeup looks and I'm purchasing black owned brands and products. So I'm gonna combine the two and I'm just completely obsessed with how this makeup look has turned out. Before we get into the video, I just wanna say that this Black Lives Matter movement is not for the moment, it is a movement. This is something that we all need to come together and show support to. And I know that me creating this makeup look isn't gonna change anyone's life drastically, but it's just a way of me showing my support and also just sharing the love to the black owned brand. I really hope you can understand and appreciate that. I have also loads of resources of how you can actually support the Black Lives Matter movement on my Instagram highlights. I have a whole highlight section. I do this because it's like a little highlight. The link to my Instagram is in the description box along with all the products there. Also this jewelry I have to mention is by a brand called Anaya Jewelry. Again, I'll leave it down below, but it is just so stunning so simple and elegant but you can do so much with it so i've done a really fun eye i've gone for the whole wet look hair vibe i was actually really inspired to do this makeup look by a black makeup artist called mahina makeup she is amazing if you haven't seen her page then definitely check her out i've kind of just put my own spin on it a little bit and obviously just created a whole different look with the hair and the jewelry if you want to know how i got this makeup look then please keep on watching guys i just tried to start this video and it went horribly wrong so I'm starting again, hence why there might be a little bit of residue, but whatever, we'll fix it. Right, let's start again. So I am taking the Juvia's Place Magic by Juvia's palette. This is so gorgeous. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called Nana, and then I'm gonna go into this blue shade. I'm just gonna take this shade through the crease. And this is what all the other shades are gonna work themselves into. I love how pigmented these eyeshadows are. And also, more importantly, sometimes, you know when eyeshadows are really pigmented but then they don't have a great blend? These also have a great blend, so I love them. And you don't have to be too neat or precise with this bit, just kind of get it on. And then I'm gonna go into that blue shade and just kind of pat it onto the outer corner and wriggle and work it into the crease a little bit. But I mainly wanna focus this color just on the outer corner. Now, when you're using really, really bright or dark shades like this, I like to just go in with smaller amounts at a time so I can kind of work with what I've put on, blend it, and then add more. I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush just to kind of soften out the edge. I'm kind of just gonna work this out, almost like a cat eye shape, but we're not trying to create anything crazy. Sometimes I find when I'm doing my eye makeup first, I'll just load on loads of color out here on the outer corner. And then when I go to like clean it up with a wipe, then I'll go and get a really nice shape. So if it's messy here for now, that's more than okay, because it's gonna look real good later. So I'm just really, really slowly in small kind of sections and kind of not picking up too much product as I go along either. I'm just kind of taking the, the shade a little bit higher on my brow bone and just working between a clean blending brush and then the brush with some color on it just so that I have a bit of control, especially when working with such kind of like a deep blue. And then just over the top of that, I'm gonna go into this shade right, right here. And it's kind of like, it's a deep navy, but it's also got some gray in there. It's a really unique but beautiful shade. So I'm just going to apply this right over the top of that blue, just to kind of deepen things up. And because it's more of a metallic shadow, they're kind of easier to just blend and it doesn't have to be too precise. The reason I used the navy blue before 
instead of just going straight in with this is so that it will like mix in with a little bit of that blue and it will just help this color kind of stand out a little bit more i'm kind of just blending it a little bit higher on that inner corner on my eye like i'm just taking it a bit higher up here which i'm kind of not used to doing but i'm gonna try it out for this look and see how we go and then for the fun part, we're gonna go into this shade right here. And this is like the most perfect bluey green aqua shade. So I'm just gonna pat this right onto the inner corner and take it all the way up to the crease as well. So I'm just taking this shade kind of just like over my crease a bit and then blending it up and into that darker shade. And you can just kind of go back and forth with blending the two shades together. And I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but I promise you it's gonna get better. Well, I hope so anyway. But again, this these eyeshadows are just so easy to apply. Like you don't really have to do much. Also, I really like this brush. This is for the Morphe, I don't know what it is, but it comes in their new collection for Pride, their new eye brushes. And this brush is really nice. So we're kind of just brightening this whole inner corner area by taking it up and into the darker shadow. And it's also just gonna open up our eyes. Okay, and then with a wipe, we're just going to wipe that edge. Now, be careful when you're doing this because the worst thing to do, and I see this so often, it's a common mistake, and I used to make this mistake as well. You basically don't wanna go up. That is what you don't wanna do. Don't take your line and go zoop because you're gonna cut off all this like nice extended eye. You wanna kind of take it a bit out. Maybe I've even done it too up. Where my guideline, the way I like to follow it, is from the bottom of my lash line, but I've left a gap between my actual waterline and here as if when we do our lower lash line makeup, there's space for it to kind of meet. Okay, I feel less nervous now. I feel like we're actually getting somewhere and it's gonna look great. So I'm just gonna finish off the eyes by applying a little bit of liner. I've got my Pat McGrath liquid liner and I don't wanna go crazy with the liner. I just want a little bit of depth on the lash line. So I'm just gonna take it really nice and close all the way along. And I'm not really gonna create like a proper wing. I'm just gonna kind of finish it but take it all the way and i kind of just want to extend the inner corner just a tad like just a really really small amount so just do the same again on the other eye okay so that's enough for the eyes right now we'll finish it off a little bit later kind of happy with where they're at right now let's move on to the face so i'm just priming my skin first with the pat mcgrath skin fetish primer and i really really like this because it does just keep your makeup on all day and it just feels really nice and then for foundation i'm going in with the pat mcgrath skin fetish foundation as well so i'm just going to blend this out just by stippling i want to get some coverage out of this and just i prefer if you've watched any of my videos before i always blend my foundation out by stippling i'll just take whatever like excess foundation is on my brush i'll just take that on my forehead i don't need a crazy amount on my forehead it just looks a little bit more natural when you've got less there and then I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. Actually, I might do a bit of this and a bit of my Fenty Beauty cream bronzer because I just love this. So I'm gonna blend this out and I'm not really applied too much of this cream contour. So I've just done it to give me a little bit of depth and make sure to work your product that is on your temples right into your hairline. You don't want there to be any kind of start and stop. And then I'm gonna take some of that cream bronzer and just pat it over just to give it that extra bit of warmth in the cheeks. Oh yes, honey, this is what I'm saying. Oh my God, that looks so nice. These two products mixed together. And then I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. And I'm just gonna take this underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And I just wanna brighten these areas up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this all out so I can just blend and get it nice and seamless into the skin. And then just go ahead and blend out that under eye. And now that I'm doing this, like I'm starting to think that that edge of the eyeshadow, I don't actually really like it. So we're gonna just correct that a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my brush and just soften the edge. Ooh, Lord, I just made it. Okay, don't do that. 
do not do that actually do that and then just with your kind of finger or another soft brush just kind of pat and blend it out so that it's just more of a softened edge rather than it being so harsh okay guys it looks messy right now well i'm gonna tidy it it's gonna it's gonna be fine so i'm gonna go in with some pat mcgrath powder now this is in light medium two and i'm just gonna press this right underneath my eyes now when we apply powder that's when we can kind of clean up this eyeshadow and make it look softer but still neat so I'll just use the edge of this just to kind of work along here. And I'm just gonna take it down my nose to help kind of snatch. And using like a yellow powder is gonna help brighten your face. You just wanna set all the areas that we've just concealed and highlighted. And just also any areas that you're concerned about budging. Like for me, it's definitely around here because I talk a lot and I smile a lot and <laughs> I don't want it to move. So for bronzer, I'm going in with Fenty Beauty Island Ting and I'm just gonna get this on my cheeks and just on my temples. And you can just work it around the edge of your face a little bit as well. And then just take any excess down the sides of your nose. I don't wanna go too crazy with the nose contour. And then I'm gonna use the same powder just to kind of snatch those cheeks a little bit more and carve out the shape and just tidy up the bronzer so i'll just take quite a bit of powder on my brush and then i'll just follow my cheek i'll pop a little smile so i can follow from my cheek all the way up towards my ear and this will just help elevate your cheekbones and give you some extra shape okay guys for one of my favorite parts highlighter i'm going in with the pat mcgrath highlighter just because i haven't used this in ages and i freaking love it so much it's so beautiful usually this is like in my backdrop so i've had to take it off but i'm basically going to mix these two shades right here these two and i'm just gonna take this right at the top of oh, wow Honestly, I don't know why I don't use this more. This is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It just kind of melts into the skin and it's so intense. I I love this highlighter so much. Wow, wow, wow. And mixing those two shades together gives you like the most perfect gold. So I kind of just place it really heavy in one area and then with a fluffier brush, I'll just blend it out. Oh, damn. Okay, I mean, wow. Then I'm just gonna mix the two shades and just place a little bit, just really carefully, everywhere else around my face, just because it's so pigmented. No, that highlighter is actually a joke. And what's better is that like, okay, it looks nice and intense right now, but throughout the day, as it like kind of melts into your skin, oh, it just looks even better. Then I'm just gonna take the same highlighter down my nose and at the tip. Wow. I'm just gonna soften that out with my finger. And I always like to blend the, the nose highlighter out with my finger a little bit, just so that it's not like a really harsh stripe. We want it to be there, but I mean, it's there. It's not there, but not there, it's there. But I don't want it to be like harsh. So it will just be softened up into my skin. Honestly, I could have just done a whole Pat McGrath look, but. I've done a whole Pat McGrath video before and also there's so many other like amazing products one that I actually recently discovered when I was trying to find products and purchase products to support the Black Lives Matter movement and I, I wanted to support other brands that I've not before um, so yeah it was really really good because I discovered new brands obviously I didn't buy everything all in one go because yeah sis is trying to save you know so I tried to like do my bit here and there and I just bought products that I know I'm gonna use I know I really really love and slowly I'll just like keep adding to my collection I feel like the Black Lives Matter movement it's not just for now this isn't something that is just happening now and then that's it so I feel like if I contribute to black owned brands slowly I'm still doing my bit you know I own quite a bit but more of the bigger brands like Pat McGrath, Fenty and all of that you know Juvia's Place but the smaller brands I definitely need to show some more love to which I have so like the next few products uh towards the end of this video from now actually are brands that I've never actually used before but I used uh I've used some of the products already and I'm obsessed so one of them is this Jordana Tika blush and is it Jordana Tika or, or Jordana Tisha I think it's Jordana Tisha 
Someone correct me. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But anyway, the blush is in the shade Prom Queen and it's so gorgeous. It is literally the most perfect peachy, pink, like coral. It's just gorgeous. And it's this kind of like, it's like a glittery sort of metallic one, but not chunks of glitter. It's one that just goes on and gives you a glow. It just, it's gonna add to the glow on your cheeks. And the color is also really, really pigmented. I wore this shade yesterday and loved it. Just because it's black owned doesn't mean that they don't do products or they don't do shades for anyone else or everyone else. And I feel like being a brown girl especially, like why not shop from black owned brands? Because 100% they're gonna have the shades down for warmer complexions and deeper complexions. Definitely, definitely need to show some more support. Okay, blush is on, look it's super cute. Okay, so let's finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna go into that dark metallic shade that we've on the outer corner and I'm gonna run that just along my lower lash line just on the outside and make sure it's kind of joined up to the top this is why we left a gap you see when we were wiping off our makeup and cleaning up we left a gap for the lower lash line so that it can literally just meet and do one kind of swipe underneath so that way it looks seamless going up on both sides. And then I'm gonna go into that really lovely light aqua shade and then also just blend that along the lower lash line. Yes to these eyes, oh my God, I love. Guys, I was so excited to film this look and I had this vision in my head and you know when you're just so scared that your vision's not gonna turn out how it is in your head. But I feel like we're there, we're there. And to be honest, it's not actually that hard to do this look. Right guys, so I've quickly just applied some mascara. It wasn't black owned because I don't actually have the mascara. Anyway, so I'm going in with these lashes that I bought and these are from Sassy Lashes and these are in the style Verity and they are gorgeous. Oh my God. These are so beautiful, so fluttery. Oh my God, I wish I bought more than one pair now. You know, cause I've not tried them before. I wasn't sure, but I will be purchasing more from this brand. So I'm just gonna pop these on nice and close to my lash line. And I've just trimmed them down a little bit. They actually come quite like long, which is good. So anyone with bigger eyes can kind of just cut them to, to size. I love these lashes. What are they called? They're Verity. Oh my God. These are just beautiful and wispy, but they're still like dramatic. They really, really open up your eyes and they're also very comfortable to wear. Oh my God. I'm, I literally can't get over these lashes. They are so lovely. And then for the lips, I'm going to go in with some new products I've discovered. And oh my God, first of all, the lip liner is, it, well, basically the lip liner and the lipstick is by this brand called Emmeline. Just look at the packaging, please. This is like the most bougiest lipstick ever. And can I just show you how this works? Okay, first of all, packaging is beautiful. Then you press the top, the bottom pops out and you get your lipstick. What? So I'm gonna go in with the lip liner in the shade Morocco, which is a really nice deep brown. These pencils just glide right on, super soft. So I'm gonna take the lipstick in the shade Fess, and it's just a really beautiful nude shade, and I'm gonna take this all over my lips. Ooh. And then just to finish off the lips, I'm gonna go in with some gloss, and I'm going to take this Jordana Tika T-shirt. Mm. gloss in the shade hun right guys i'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then i'll be right back with you so guys here we have the finished look which i'm actually really obsessed with but most importantly i love how we can combine cultures through makeup black owned products indian glam i just love it and you know there are so many ways of showing support to other cultures and i feel like through makeup this is one way that we can do that so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you've tried any of these products if you're gonna recreate this makeup look right here I personally am so obsessed with how it turned out it turned out exactly how I wanted it to in my vision let me know what you think of this makeup look down below in the comment section also don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more fun videos yeah I've got loads coming your way and also don't forget to get me on the gram tiktok wherever else yeah I'm just I'm just about thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye